Hello everyone, we're working in Photoshop CS4 and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a gradient map to tone a color photograph. We have this familiar building picture which we've been working on if you've seen some of these tutorials before and we're going to work with a way of toning this um, that some people like to use which is with a gradient map. Let's get started by duplicating the layer. Make sure you click on it and command J so we don't destroy our original. You're welcome to turn off the background. Um, now what I'd like to do is launch a gradient map. And before I do that, I want to tell you that over here uh, with our foreground and background colors, this will dictate, uh, at least initially, what the gradient map colors will be. So when we click on the gradient map option, you're going to see it launch into a black and white as its default state. That is, if you have black and white selected as the foreground uh, black, background as white. Let's get right to it. So we'll drop down here on our layers palette, uh, create a new fill adjustment, click once, and click on gradient map. It's located near the bottom. Automatically, we get a layer that is launched right over it, and as predicted, it launched a black and white. Uh, gradient on top of this image. Let's go further with this and click once in the gradient map box and you will see it launches the gradient editor menu which you can move around. I like to keep it off to the side so I can see what's happening because all these options will happen uh, live as you select them. If you click one, let's pick this one here, it throws the gradient of in this case purple to what appears to be orange over the photograph and you can see how it's a very heavy-handed way of toning the photograph. You have many different options in this menu to pick. You can try a couple different ones. There's even ones that, have, that are loaded uh, that are more solid um, gradients that are one solid color to white, purple to white, orange to white, uh, cyan to white. And up here in this small little arrow is the uh, presets here. You can start loading um, color harmonies or metals or other versions here. So I'm going to upload some samples. If I hit uh, pastels, it's going to say, would you like to append this library or uh, just have them up by themselves? I always add to the library. I hit append. It adds it to it. And here's my pastels down here. So you can see, you can click through these. Now, they don't look that attractive right now. And the real skill in using a gradient map is the blend mode that you will then pick. So for our purposes, I've made this gradient here before, this one, and I like it a lot. It's a yellow to a blue. You can always actually custom make your gradient by clicking twice in here and selecting around, choosing a new color. And you say OK to that one, and you can come over here, double click on this side, and start clicking around and making your gradient that way. I like what we had up, so I'm going to say uh, this adjustment, which is the yellow to blue. If I click yellow, I can move the slider just in the middle and actually move the range of which is more dominant. I'm going to leave it in the middle for now and say OK. That in effect has loaded our gradient over on top. If I hit reverse here, it's a little more interesting. So you can play with your reverse and you can play with your uh, reverse being on and off. I always select dither. Um, it's a nice way to keep things smooth looking. And from the menu where the gradient sits, the layer here, let's play with our blend modes. Um, normal is a blend mode for kind of a nice graphic look. You can always drop this down and you start seeing our toning happening. I sometimes like to get a nice faded out antique look by taking my blend mode from normal down to screen. And while it is bright, I can drop it out and drop it in. I kind of like how uh, that really ages the photo and fades the photo out. You can also try the color blend mode. Throws that, that gradient really heavy on top, but you can always dial it back by using our opacity sliders. The important thing to notice here is that it is mapping the colors into the lights and darks of this photo. Uh, I'd like to show you before and after. Here's a shortcut for you as something to jot down, remember for the future. If you go to your bottommost layer and you click on the eye, but before you do that, you hold down the option key and click once with the eye, you'll see your beginning state where we started. Keep that option key held down and click the eye again, and it launches our adjustments. So we've gone from here 
to here in effectively toning this photograph with a gradient map that has a lot of variations to play with, uh, as well as places and ways to uh, adjust the opacity in that mask. Uh, and you can find the sweet spot that works for you and the look that you're trying to create. Hope this was a good introduction to gradient maps for you. I hope you enjoyed it and tune in again for some more as we go further with gradient mapping over a black and white image in another tutorial.